Hello people! Welcome back to another fabulous fragrance video. And if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. I welcome you to our fabulous community. If you like a fragrance, beauty, fashion and lifestyle content, this is the place for you. Go ahead and subscribe, that red button right there, and ring the notification bell right next to it for all notifications so you will never miss any of my uploads. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Now, in this video, I am going to share with you all my most complimented fragrances. These are the top 10 Com most complimented fragrances. Now remember there are other fragrances that I get compliments on but these ones are the top 10 that I get compliments on more often. So these are also, they, these also happen to be my you know in my top favorites as well. So it's obviously a human thing you know these are fragrances that people are loving. They love the smell of these fragrances. Now if you guys noticed I was the only only creator who did not upload multiple or even a single most complimented fragrance video during the entire Two years that we were on lockdown, that we had COVID, that we were mostly indoors. I wanted these to be the real, for real, for real, top 10 most complimented fragrances and I have waited a long time trying these fragrances, wearing these fragrances and gathering up compliments so that I can pick the most complimented fragrances to share with you. So if you want to find out what these fabulous beauties are, just keep watching. So you guys, like I said, I just did not feel like, you know, I should be doing a most complimented fragrances video in the last two to three years. You know, since 2019, actually it's really 2020. So 2020, 2021, and even this entire year, I just, I didn't want to do it quite yet just to get views just to get you to you know watch my videos when I do a video I do it from the most sincere place in my heart and I give you the most sincere results and I share with you the most sincere thoughts and results of my testing and I wanted to be able to wear these fragrances a little bit more out and about you know once the pandemic was completely gone and we're back to normal business as usual i wanted to give it time so i gave this entire year even after the the restrictions were lifted give it time for me to wear more of my fragrances more often to gather up compliments there is however one exception actually two exceptions here that garnered compliments like this, the like that, the moment I wore them. And they're two of the newest members in my fragrance collection. They are amazing, you guys, and I cannot wait to share them with you. Those two especially because the other ones I've had for a while, I've tested for a while, worn a while, but these I love so much. So I started wearing them a lot. And then of course I got a lot of compliments right away i didn't even have to you know test them for very long so those are now those are true compliment getters i mean quick compliment getters rather right so i have i picked 10 just 10 out of all the fragrances i've ever gotten compliments on i picked the top 10 that i get compliments on more often so i want to share with you my latest obsession first i am so so obsessed with this fragrance you guys that I cannot put it down this is the latest like the newest newest member newest purchase in my fragrance collection of over 400 fragrances and this has quickly climbed up to my top 10 top 10 fragrances for life and this is also you know surprisingly my most complimented fragrances of all time and i've only had this for 
two weeks, I don't even know, not that long. And I've already gotten five compliments on this fragrance, including my husband. So let me first introduce what it is. This is Killian Rose Oud. You guys, this is the latest Killian. I think, you know, one of their latest releases. And it was a very quiet release. There was no hype. There was no, you know, influencer buzz. There's no one talking about this fragrance that that I've, I've heard. I tell you, I didn't even know about this fragrance. This was a last minute purchase, like an impulse buy, very last minute before the Sephora VIB sale ended. And boy, am I glad. It's like the most gratifying, most wonderful, and absolutely worth it. Uh, Sephora VIB sale purchases of all time. This is one you need to grab during the Sephora VIB sale, you guys. Or you can just buy it right now, I mean, most of you probably have Sephora points that you can apply to this. You know what? Don't wait on it. It is so stunning. This bottle, I mean, just, I love red. You guys know red is my favorite color, right? This is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm so glad that Killian came out with the, you know, this put this fragrance in the red bottle. The only other one I have in the, in the red bottle is Rolling in Love. I was, let me sniff this first because I lose my mind when I sniff this, you guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my. Mmm. You guys, this smells so beautiful. Oh my God. I can't even believe this is a oud some oud, like rose oud fragrance because Killian did the oud in this so smooth, so well blended, so fabulous. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not your typical rose oud because I was not, you know, one of the reasons why I almost hesitated to buy this is because I saw, I saw rose oud and I'm like, I have so many rose oud fragrances, you guys, it's not even funny. And I just didn't want another rose oud fragrance in my collection. And you know what, I, I mean, I already love my oud satin mood. There's the, you know, uh, the Lancome oud bouquet. I have, like, just to name a couple, I have like a million rose oud fragrances. So I just didn't want to buy another one, but this is not your typical rose oud. Oh my gosh. You guys, this has the most beautiful rose absolute with Bulgarian rose that is laced with a little bit of beautiful warm cinnamon but it's very difficult to tell that it's even cinnamon because it's just there underneath just like warming it up slightly oh it's absolutely there's a little bit of a, a a saffron but it's again hard to tell it's there then it kind of blends into this beautiful sweet lychee note ah oh, so beautiful that sweet lychee it, usually lychee you can like tell that's lychee like right in like in uh, Parfums de Marley Delena you can tell that's lychee but you can't tell it here but that sweetness is there a little slight prettiness is there but you can't quite tell what it is and then it dries down to this gorgeous 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 you know cypro oil cypro oil is giving this sultry sexiness to this fragrance with and that kind of rolls into the sexiness of the leather cord in here, the leather note, oh my God, so sexy, so luxurious. And then it complements that, that oud accord in here, you know, that's very slight, very smooth, very well blended. It just really, it really complements, the, the base is just absolutely sultry and it's a very long lasting base. It like, this fragrance would last forever on the skin, even on the skin, and on clothes until you wash them. On the skin, I would say going on like, I don't know, eight plus nearly 12 hours. And even if it like became, you know, uh, kind of settled after the 12th hour mark, it's still there on the skin. It's absolutely stunning. And this projects like crazy you guys this projects like crazy now i'll get to my story about the compliments right so the other day i'll start with the latest compliment i was at i wore this to go 
out, do something. And I stopped at Starbucks and I had to kind of sit and work at a Starbucks box for a, a couple of hours. And I went up to order something and the barista, like she was like, gosh, like a, a several feet away from me. And she was wearing a mask. Now this is, I gotta tell you, so this is one of the rare occasions I've been complimented through a mask, okay? She was uh, wearing a mask and she was like, oh my God, what is that you're wearing? I was like, oh my gosh, you can smell it through your mask? And she's like, yeah, that is absolutely stunning. What is that? I have to know what you're wearing. So I told her, of course, being the, the, the fragrance nerd that I am, I kind of talked her ear off about the notes and accords and, and what makes it sexy. You know, I kind of, you know, she was probably like, okay, this lady's crazy. But yeah, I, I gave her the whole 360 on the fragrance right, in, right then and there. And my gosh, you guys, I've gotten many other compliments. I, when I go to pick up my son, you know, like if I'm wearing this, I go to pick up my son, people can smell it. Like the people who come to put my son in the car, they're like, wow, you smell amazing. My husband loves it. My husband complimented me on this, like the first time I wore it. And every time I wear it, it's like, that's absolutely beautiful. And I came down the very first day this arrived. I wore this upstairs. I put, sprayed it on came down the stairs my daughter was in in the living room which was like many many feet away from me from the staircase and she was like mom what are you wearing that's beautiful wow I can smell you over here that's how much this fragrance projects okay this is a stunner you guys oh my god I want to almost say I just don't want to go there because I want to almost say this is one of my top three one of my top three. Um, I, I'm bumping uh, uh, one or two out of the way to put this in the top. This is definitely in my top 10 for life, but this is, I think, also in my top three now for life. This is just like, oh my God, I can't get enough of it. Just bought it and I've put quite the dent into this fragrance already. I, I This is such a sultry, beautiful fragrance, you guys. I don't wanna wear this to work because it's just a little too sexy, a little too sultry. This is a third date fragrance. This is something, another beautiful thing about this fragrance is that you can wear this fragrance all year round, really. It's, the oud isn't so strong that it makes it a cold weather only fragrance, but boy, does it stand up to cold weather, projects like crazy in cold weather. You can, however, wear this on summer nights, date nights, and even in the summertime. I've been wearing this during the day, which it does not choke people. It does not, you know, it, my husband put it the best way. My husband said, it's so strong and it, you know, projects so much. You can smell you like miles away, but it's not a, in, in a, in a, it, what would, he used different words, but what it, the gist of what I, what he said was inoffensive. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. It's sexy. It's very like appealing, so it's not offensive, although it is strong, you can smell it really, really well. Third date fragrance, date night fragrance, very much if you want to swoon somebody over on a very hot date, this is the one for you, Kilian Hozud. The other very top three for life for me, I would say most people love this fragrance to death. I have heard from one person, who said that she didn't like this. Um, and that happens, you guys, and it's completely fine because not all of us have the same nose, you know what I mean? But this is such a beautiful fragrance, you guys. I get so many compliments. This is Ibiscus Majad by Maison Crivelli. You guys, this one is a beast. I hate saying that. I don't want to say it beast mode. I don't want to say it's beast because look, these both are beast mode, as you may want to call it but they're not really beast, they're not offensive. Beast would kind of imply it's kind of in your face. They're not in your face, you guys. They're not in your face, they're pretty. It's just they announce you. They announce you to the world, but it's not in an, in an offensive way, but rather make way for, you know, her highness, blah, 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 you know? That's kind of what they are, not in a kind of, Punch you in the face, here I am. It's not how it is at all. Oh my God, I love this fragrance so much. 
so much. I love that one. I love this one. This one projects just the same way as Rojo's Wood, uh, quite a long distance, lasts forever, 12 hours plus on the skin, not just clothes. You can't wash it off of your, your clothes, even after showering with this. Even after showering, you can smell this on the skin, kind of faintly still. That kind of fragrance. You guys, this is so beautiful. This has that hibiscus scent but it's a very sweet hibiscus scent. Now the hibiscus nectar, you know, like the nectar of hibiscus sweet, um, with the, you know, if it had a fragrance, right? This is what it smells like. I mean, it smells like hibiscus. It's funny because hibiscus doesn't necessarily have a very strong scent. This is exactly what I imagine a, a hibiscus would smell like if it smelled really strongly, right? It's absolutely beautiful. This has some um, uh, Damascena rose and a lot of the fragrance in ingredients, by the way, Maison Crivelli uses Orpur ingredients in many, almost, uh, I think all of their fragrances. Orpur is a, you know, like the highest grade, highest grade perfume ingredients. So this has the Rose Damascena, the Orpur version, vanilla, there's a load of vanilla in here with that beautiful floral scent with that Orpur vanilla, sweet, sweet load of vanilla. It's just one of the things I love about this. It's very sweet and beautiful. It has that sexy leather. I feel like a lot of the fragrances that I get compliments on, you guys, tend to have a very sexy undertone of leather, really, because it makes, leather makes not only fragrances sexy and luxurious smelling, but also long lasting and also strong, also projecting. So that may be it. This, this, I feel like this hibiscus scent in here comes from the, uh, the Rose Damascena and the, and the spearmint note that's in here blended together because there's not really a, like, I don't think hib hibiscus is a, a, um, a fantasy note. I get complimented on, complimented on this so many times. I go to this place I'm not gonna say the name of the place and I wore this and I got like a ton of compliments from several people in the facility um, when I first wore this my husband did I tell you the story of me first wearing this and I came out of the room and he was in a whole other room I was in the hallway walking past the room he was like what are you wearing that's absolutely stunning and my husband smelled it again he kept coming after me like following my scent trail okay oh by the way both of these leave such an intoxicating scent trail he followed my scent trail you guys and this is absolutely stunning leaves a stunning scent trail i have been complimented in grocery stores i don't wear this to grocery stores like i wear this to something nicer but on the way to that place i've stopped at grocery stores i've been stopped by people and been asked what am i wearing I have worn this to work, although I probably shouldn't have. It's a little too much for work, okay? I've been complimented by my colleagues at work. Several of them wanted to ask what that fragrance was. This is a big compliment getter. People uh, in general absolutely love this fragrance. I absolutely love it. My husband have absolutely loved this fragrance. Yeah, Ibiscus Majad, one of the best compliment getters ever. Oh, here's another one. This one is the other one that's newest to my collection that I've already gotten so many compliments on, you guys. This is the one cherry fragrance that, yeah, in my collection that I get a lot of... I've been complimented on uh, Tom Ford Lost Cherry, but not too often because people can't smell it, you guys. I mean, you need to be able to smell it to compliment because it disappears after, like... I don't know, three hours, you know what I mean? Whereas this stays for a long time. <sighs> Here we go. Mm. This fragrance, uh, it makes me smile. This is absolutely gorgeous. By the way, thank you for letting me know. Several of you went and bought this fragrance and let me know that you absolutely diehard love it, just like me. And make that makes me so happy you guys to, to know that something I love this much has worked out so well for you guys. At least I would say five or six of you have let me know that you just love this to death. That's like your newest favorite cherry fragrance and I absolutely agree. 
Oh my lord. This one is so beautiful. This has got, again, I'm not going to spend too, I'm such a fragrance no, notes and accords nerd, you guys. I get too technical into like fragrance uh, notes, but I feel like it's helpful to you guys to know all that, how they're blended, what makes fragrances sexy, which notes to look for, right? I mean, I want to be able to tell you all this, but then my videos become too long. Anyway, this one has a gorgeous cherry uh, note to die for. Now, cherry is a uh, synthetic note by nature because it's not something natural that occurs naturally. It's a, usually like a, a, fan, a fantasy no, uh, synthetic note. And in that uh, synthetic cherry note, there's a little undertone of almond usually. And this one does also have that almond sort of undertone to it, right in the opening especially stays all the way to the dry down. It's beautiful, but it's not your typical like cherry almond fragrance that is overdone, you guys. This is a more of a cherry leather fragrance. The leather accord in this fragrance is absolutely divine. It is so sexy, so sophisticated, so luxurious. It's very edgy. It makes you like this edgy hot chick, you know, when you wear this fragrance. That's how I feel. I feel like a edgy hot chick. You know, uh, that's how I uh, feel with this fragrance. I get so many complimented I, um, compliments. I wore this to out to drinks and dinner several times with my husband and the kids. And boy, did I get complimented by the wait staff, uh, people on the street that I walked by, uh, right outside the, the restaurant. Um, I got complimented by, by my husband who loves this also very, very much. He has really good taste, you guys, trust me. Oh, and my colleagues, just the other day I wore this to work just because, you know, it's not really, you know, something that I maybe should wear to work because it's a little too sexy, you know, but sometimes I wear it to work so I can kind of also test out what people are perceiving it to be, you know, like, you know, my colleagues are some of the best, uh, what do you call people to test fragrances with because you know I work with them in close um, uh, you know uh, distances so yeah bitch by the way this projects really well however oh my god uh, yeah one of my colleagues wanted to know where to get this this is absolutely beautiful it's a gorgeous cherry fragrance it's my top cherry fragrance guess what else has made it to my top 10 for life this beauty right here very beautiful and then I have this beauty. So a lot of my Emicla fragrances get compliments. But I would say all of them do. All of them do. I'm trying to think if I haven't done. Yeah, they are usually compliment getters. But I had to force myself to pick one that gets the most compliments, right? So I picked this one, which unfortunately unfortunately has been discontinued if you guys want to know the next most compliment getter i would say it's ylang in gold i get a lot of compliments on ylang in gold as well but i picked this one out of that because i don't want to pick too many from the same brand this one you guys oh uh, this is just the most beautiful sweet fragrance i have ever worn in my life Okay, so this has the most beautiful, beautiful, subtle, warm cinnamon note in the opening with pink berries. This has beautiful florals like tuberose, jasmine, just stunning, beautiful white florals. And it has a little bit of rose, I think, too, because I can smell the rose, you guys. And this has a beautiful, sweet caramel note in the base that makes it so sweet and gourmet, you know. Loads of uh, amber, as you can see, the juice color, very ambery, and loads of vanilla and a lot of musk, you guys. Uh, this, this one, you guys, I wore to a uh, function one night. This is a nighttime fragrance, and there were people in, in a room, and I walked by the room in the hallway. They were smelling me from the room and said, wow, who just walked by? That's Whoever it is, it smells absolutely beautiful. And they, one of them came out and saw me and, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. A huge compliment getter. I've been complimented in random places like dinners, you know, going out to eat, 
um, to drinks, um, gosh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I remember now. It was a movie. I couldn't think of what, what, why we were there. We, we went to movies and we were coming out from that shopping complex after the movies and somebody smiled and, and, and complimented me on it. Yeah, this is a huge compliment getter. And this one right here, you guys, this is one of the simple and inexpensive fragrances, designer fragrances that I always get compliments on. I mean, do you see the dent? I mean, see the dent? Do you see the dent? This, I, this is my dumb reach for whenever I want to smell fabulous but don't want to think too much. You know, I don't want it to be super fancy like this, you know, uh, super, super sweet and, you know, uh, too noticeable like this. You know, whenever I do, I want to feel like regular, regular day sexy, I wear this and men love this fragrance to death. I get compliments mostly from men when I wear this. This has loads of orange blossom. You can smell the orange blossom. There's pistachios, there's almond. This is a gorgeous almondy white floral fragrance, you guys. Oh my gosh, there are other fragrance notes, but those are like what's like, you know, noticeable out there. I get a ton of compliments. Like every time I go to hug somebody when I'm wearing this, I'm like, wow, you smell amazing. Or, you know, they're near me. Um, again, like that was an, at another work thing at nighttime uh, at the penthouse that I got complimented on this fragrance several times in the same night. My husband loves this. When I would go out wearing this to any you know, shopping or, you know, to drinks or dinner, I get compliments on this. I mean, I don't want to tell you every incident individually. This video would be super long, you guys. I'll only tell you like the super hilarious ones or super interesting stories. Now this one is another compliment getter. This is an un unexpected one that I didn't think I would love this much. I ended up loving so much. Oh, especially when I heard people comparing this to Tom Ford, Peter Peach. No, 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 no. It does not smell like, I get the resemblance. I should be fair and say, I get the resemblance, but a small resemblance, okay? It's not like Bitter Peach. I don't like Bitter Peach scent. I don't. So if that tells you, and I love this to death. So that should tell you something about how similar they are, right? They're not, okay? Now this one, mm, this is such a unique scent, you guys. You know, this is supposed to be this toothachingly, you know, sweet fragrance when you look at the cupcake with the cherry on top, you think, oh, that's going to be so sweet, tooth achingly sweet, you know, too much headachey kind of sweet. It's not, actually. That's one thing I love about how well they did this fragrance because it is not headachey sweet. It's not tooth achingly sweet. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, this does have peach nectar, which is why people are getting the bitter peach vibes, right? Or the bitter peach, peach resemblance. But let me get to the other parts. And this also has orange sanguine. Um, so there's a lot of that sort of, um, what can I say? It's not citrusy, see? It's orange sanguine. It doesn't smell like a citrus, but rather you get like that orange peel kind of vibe. Um, and this has one of the most beautiful, sexy, sultry herbal notes, Davana. You guys know how I feel about Davana. It makes Fragrances smell absolutely sexy. This is one of those slightly herbal fragrances that's absolutely sultry because of the herbal note in it. I think because they put Davana in here is why this fragrance is so successful without being too sweet. You know what I'm saying? Another thing that surprised me about this fragrance is the fact that this has osmanthus, which I'm not usually a huge fan of. But that, again, depends on the blend. It depends on the composition. So this does has osmanthus. This has Indian jasmine. All these like beautiful narcotic floral notes. You know what I mean? And this has a booziness about it. A little bit of booziness from the rum, you guys. And that's another reason why this smells absolutely stunning without being too sweet, you know? This has some amber. There's cedarwood. Atlas, uh, cedarwood atlas which is obviously a really good accord, which by the way, this one has to, a uh, really good note, I mean, 
This one gets compliments in close quarters. Now this is not a very strong and projecting fragrance. This has got a, a decent scent, scent bubble. I would say like, you know, it's actually quite medium sized kind of uh, scent bubble, but it's not a beast, okay? I wouldn't call this a beast mode is what I mean. Most of the compliments I've gotten on this have been on close quarters, so to speak. Um, for example, when I go to pick up my son, who, you know, the teachers that put him in the car, you know, it's in the carpool lane, they come and put the kid in the car and they stick their head in the car. They're like, oh my gosh, you smell amazing. It's not you or the car. Like, what is that smell? The whole car fills with this scent, you guys. This is one of those scents that fill the place. They fill like a room with, smaller room, you know, completely with its scent. So several times when I go to pick up my, my child, I've been compliment on, complimented on this fragrance. I've, you know, been to stores where I've been complimented on this fragrance when I go shopping, wearing this, um, different malls and places. Fragrance counter people, actually, funnily enough, uh, would compliment me on this fragrance. Um, yeah, this is a huge compliment getter. I don't wear it to work, although I should wear it. I bet you... I will get complimented on this as well at work. This is more of a very playful, but at the same time, sexy, sultry fragrance. Almost womanly, but there's a playfulness to it, but a sultriness to it all at the same time. Gorgeous fragrance. Did I tell you the name of this? This is House of Siage from the Sweet Atelier Collection, Sweet Dreams. Absolutely stunning. Then I have this beauty right here. This is my top number one favorite fragrance from the entire Christian Louboutin Luby World collection. I've done a full review of this collection, ranking my fragrances from the one I love the most to the one I like least, which is hard because I love the, love the entire collection, you guys. It's hard to rank when you love the whole thing. So yeah, this one, I've been chased down the road um, and asked what I've been, uh, what I'm wearing. Actually, one of not one, several. I think a couple of my subbies, my lovelies, told me, you know, who talked to me on IG that uh, I know very much. One of them, uh, you know who you are. Uh, she messaged me and she was telling me that she wore this once and went to like a Starbucks or something, and she was leaving, and the barista chased her down the road, <laughs> you know, to ask what she's wearing. Same thing happened to me. Somebody came after me at a store. I was coming out of a store and the, the, this lady right behind me like, hey, what are you wearing? It's beautiful. This is a very much a night out, a special night out, sexy fragrance, you guys. This is one that you want to wear. When, if, you have, if you are one of those people who have, who have the freedom and the time in life to go clubbing, Here's the one for you. This is a total clubbing fragrance, okay? Also, this is a fragrance even, you know, to go out at night for drinks, you know, on a date with your, you know, your significant other or a special dinner, you know, anniversary dinner or something. Something special, okay? This is a special fragrance. I mean, look at these bottles. And they're absolutely stunning. To this day, on my fragrance display, the most good-looking bottles that grab attention right away. This is right in the center of my, my fragrance display, you guys, this entire Luby World collection. You guys know I have the whole collection. Oh my God, this smells so good. It's so sexy. It's just so sultry. This has the most sexy suede note in here, you guys, that, that makes it so sexy, sultry, luxurious, very luxurious all at the same time. The suede note gives it the leather cord. There's like, I think, pink pepper in the opening, and then there's uh, woody notes in the base, you guys. Oh, and there's a lot more in here that they have not revealed. I can smell some intoxicating floral or two, but very subtle. They, mainly, it's that leather cord that really takes over and makes it sexy. Loads of musk, I tell you. I can smell the musk, too. Very sexy fragrance. This is Christian Louboutin from the Luby World Collection. Uh, Luby Raj. I don't even know if I told you that. By the way, isn't this little je jewel uh, like one of the best small details that uh, you ever saw? Oh, and I have actually another Killian. I was hesitant to put this because I only wanted to include one fragrance from every brand, but I had to put this in because I do get a lot of compliments on it quite often. 
and it is one of my top favorites for life too. So this one is Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. Not to be confused with the original Love Don't Be Shy. This one to me, you guys, is one step up. Oh, one step up from the original, okay? This is absolutely beautiful. This has got the same um, pretty much notes as the original. There's the, the marshmallow, there's the orange blossom, there's the rose. The, the rose in here has been kicked up a notch. There's more rose in this than the original. Uh, you know, like the, the orange blossom, all that is here, the marshmallow, the, the neroli, you know, the, it's all in here. Uh, once I was at an airport, in an airport bathroom, so I was on the way to this big function, and airport bathroom, I was refreshing myself, my makeup, you know, my, my fragrance, so I sprayed it on. You know, to be fair, I had just sprayed it on, so it was, you know, really, you know, projecting out of me um, this is not the biggest projector so every time I've been complimented on this it's been like in close quarters or when I had just sprayed it right so that makes sense because it's not a very like super loss long lasting or super projecting fragrance I was in the airport bathroom and I was spraying this on and this woman came out of the stall like came running out of it like I can smell you in there Oh, that's a beautiful scent. What is that? She had to know. So she took her phone out and she took the name down on her phone that she was going to buy one right away. So yeah, uh, my husband loves it. I get compliments. It like pretty much everywhere I wear it. I get compliments on it when I go to hug people. They compliment me on this. It's again, it's been in close quarters. This is not one that I've been complimented on from the next room. You know what I mean? Or from like three feet away or you know more more than 10 feet away I should say five about five feet is the projection distance of this yeah so it's more of a close quarters compliment getter if people can smell it they compliment it okay that's what I have to say uh, look at the dent I've put into this fragrance considering how many um, perfumes I have in my collection this is a really good one you guys and then there's this baby this has been in my collection, not this particular bottle. This is my third bottle. This fragrance in general has been in my collection for, gosh, like I want to say over 10 years. Is it over 10 years? Yeah, well, ever since it was released, it was, it's was. it been in my collection. And this is my third bottle and there is the dent already, already the dent. Um, I get complimented on this. I tend to wear this out to dinner a lot. Um, every time wait staff be like wow what are you wearing oh do you smell amazing you know like especially women you know they, they seem to love this oh this is a beautiful there again a gorgeous white floral fragrance with a very sexy base note which is white tobacco which I think is the secret of making this fragrance very very beautiful very sexy this is a projector this projects like crazy people will smell you feet away and also very long lasting for a designer fragrance oh my gosh eight hours plus okay bang for your buck by the way this is victor and rolf bonbon couture not bonbon the original bonbon the original is not as strong as this one or as sexy as this one it's also gorgeous but this is the compliment getter. This has gorgeous uh, citrus notes like mandarin orange. This has white florals like neroli, orange blossom, jasmine. It's a beautiful white floral fragrance, like I said. Loads of vanilla, loads of caramel. This is a gourmet fragrance with a very beautiful caramel note in the base. This has that white tobacco, like I said, and a little hint of patchouli, very hard to notice. Huge compliment getter every time I wear it out to dinner, which is kind of like my go-to dinner, kind of regular night dinner, not a, not a special dinner, regular everyday type of go out to dinner fragrance. Absolutely love it. It's a nighttime fragrance in my opinion and very good in cold weather. Very good. So the next one is this one um, from bond number nine. This is Greenwich Village. This one, you guys, I don't, haven't had a lot of chances to wear but I have worn, the few times that I've worn it, I've gotten compliments on it. This, this one actually, actually this one is one that I actually also complimented another person on. I was on a plane and the stewardess was wearing this. And you know me being the 
fragrance ner nerd right away I knew what she was wearing I'm like you're wearing Greenwich Village aren't you it's beautiful and she's like yes thank you you know so I could tell right away I was on a plane and yeah she was wearing this and every time she went past with her cart like you know a whiff of it a whiff of it every time she went back and forth I told my husband you know you can tell if the stewardess is coming this way because you can smell her a mile away my husband was laughing but anyway um, this uh, I've been complimented on this at work I, this is a good one for work actually very good one for work um, a good work daytime function very good one for that I've been m much complimented uh, at work one time I wore this to a doctor's appointment in the elevator I got complimented on this oh that's a beautiful scent you smell good uh, what are you wearing and I said Greenwich Village bond, num bond number nine and they were like Huh? <laughs> they weren't familiar with the brand. So again, being the fragrance nerd, I gave him a earful about the fragrance and where to get it and what it smells like and why it smells like it. You know me. You know, people make a mistake asking me about fragrances because I give them the full lesson, you know? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. I, I don't love the fact that people compare this to Baccarat Rouge 540. It seems like that's Everything is compared to that fragrance. No, this does not f f smell like Baccarat Rouge 540. Not at all. This has, I forgot to tell the, the notes in this fragrance, by the way. This has a gorgeous lychee note in the opening with a little mandarin orange and a, I think a little castis too. Um, this, mo mainly what I smell in this fragrance are those water lily notes, the beautiful floral notes, basically. The, the water lily, the jasmine, the peony. Beautiful, you guys. This is why it makes me so crazy when people compare this to Baccarat Rouge 540. No, Baccarat Rouge doesn't have water lily, no peony. This has a beautiful floral metal. What are you talking about? No, this has, I think where people are getting this is from the, the Baccarat Rouge vibe or resemblance or whatever. Maybe like the tiny little thing. Probably I know where this is coming from. There's a praline note in the base with Ambroxin. So those two together might be giving them a little bit of a, you know, of that vibe. Because that Baccarat Rouge, as people say, there's, you know, like a little burnt sugar, which I don't agree, but I'll just say it, you know, that probably, I, I've noticed that praline note tends to give that something similar to that when combined with Ambroxin, especially or Ambergris. And then this has vanilla there's loads of musk and even a little bit of oak musk which is really nice very so one of those like herbally type notes that are sexy that nobody thinks is sexy yeah so yeah compliment getter so there you have it those are my for real actual top 10 most compliment getters these have been worn and tested for a long time and not during the height of pandemic with people wearing masks but way after the pandemic, this year in particular, they've been worn and, and have been complimented on. Some of them I've had for much longer than even pre-pandemic. But a lot of them I've acquired after the pandemic or during the pandemic, right? So I had to wait till after the pandemic to really see how well they work and then, you know, get compliments and realize, oh, they are compliment getters. Like I said, I did not want to do it. Most compliment getter fragrances during a lockdown when people were wearing masks although some perfumes yeah you can smell through the mask but you know what guys to really do a very real list of uh, most compliment getters you need to wait you, you know I needed to have wait until the uh, the end of the pandemic lockdown when you know and give it another year uh, for me to wear them out and about without people wearing masks so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video please let me know down in the comment section your most compliment getters. I want to know your top five or your top ten, okay? And even your just one, top one compliment getter, okay? I want to know because I want to really see. So these are what I'm getting compliments on. I want to see what you guys are getting compliments on because people have different body chemistry and tools, you know what I mean? Keep that in mind. What I may get compliment on may not be something that you might get compliment on, but as a rule of thumb, in general, you get compliments on the same type of, you know, 
people love the same type of fra fragrances. But let me know down in the comment section your top compliment getters and let me know your thoughts on my top compliment getters. What do you think of them? I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell right next to it so you will never miss any of my uploads. I see my analytics. Half of you who are watching my videos have still not subscribed. You guys, if you're watching my videos, why risk the chance of missing uploads because you're not being notified? Go ahead and subscribe. It's a great way to support my channel. It really helps me grow my community. And, you know, I love it when you guys talk to me. Commenting uh, in the comment section is a huge um, help to me. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram on, and on TikTok. I'll see you guys in my next video.